Hello everybody, this is Mishinxi, and this is Let's Play Legend Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we made our way through Farron Woods, and in this episode, we're going to be entering Skyview Temple. However, first of all, I want to do a couple of things. First thing first, is if I remember right, there's some birds here, yes! Okay, I'm going to have one more attempt at catching one, because there's I only need one more bird feather. Only one more, so can I get it? Yes! Okay, bird banner. <laughs> it's just, I only needed one more. So, if I could get this, as I have, there we go, five out of five. I only needed one more, and I've now got it. Oh, didn't need to do that. And, um, now, very really quickly, I am going to be doing one last thing before going into Skyview Temple. Going back to the sky. Now, there are a couple of things we can do in the sky, and, um, this will result in a heart piece. Um, so, I do want to definitely do it now. You get a couple of other things, but the heart piece is the main one. So, if I remember right, this is the first time I've actually returned to the sky. It's quite um, easy to. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Master Link, when you hit that goddess cube with a skyward strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. My voice first going to change every single time, I swear. The location I have marked on your map indicates the spot where I sense an energy reaction. And we can place a beacon. However, I am going to be going here first. And I need to place that a bit better. There you go, that'll do. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. So, if we um, just go back here, we can see the beacon and where it has um, been... Well, what pl what uh, I've not put planet, uh, what floating rock formation it's um, hovering over? <laughs> what island? I'll call it an island, even though it, well, I suppose it is an island technically, but still, island in the sky. Actually, I've just realised how weird it actually does um, seem. Floating rocks. I'm just used to it in this game, but now I actually looked at it, it's so weird. Anyway, Goddess Q. I believe this is the one, the second one, the one. Oh! Okay, I wasn't expecting that, actually. That was not the piece of heart I was talking about earlier. <laughs> okay, so that was the um, Goddess Cube we unlocked right next to um, Skyview Temple. So, Goddess Cube number two. I'm going to be referring to them, if I do refer to them as numbers, like that was Goddess Cube number two, um, that's because I'm going off the Zelda dungeon, um, the Goddess Cube, uh, the Goddess Cube side quest, or whatever they're called, from um, that website. So they number them, so I'll just be numbering them as well. That's a mini shortcut we can go through, just to speed up a bit. And we're now at the Lumpy Pumpkin, where the Goddess Cube number one is the most important. Well, out, out of the two, we just we're getting now the most important. So right here, and. We get an adventure pouch. Now this is especially useful as we can now hold another thing, including bottles, shields, all sorts really. So let's empty and em, em, uh, enter the lumpy pumpkin. So you'll just get a quick little look around here. There's the owner, bartender. <gasps> Piece of heart. Must get. <laughs> This is the classical sort of, uh, I don't know, um, saloon, is that the right word? I don't know. But uh, running in here is very limited, and, well, very slow. Same as in the Night Academy, really, in, in any building. But, if you roll... Why would you do that? Get down and come here this instant! Um, sorry? Let's talk to uh, Stretch. Oh no, you've gone and made a terrible mess of things, haven't you? Well, now you're going to be in a world of trouble. <laughs> I always imagine him like James from Team Rocket, Pokemon anime. I don't know why. <laughs> but, there's another piece of heart. We only need one more to increase our heart, ca heart capacity, or life capacity. Um, oh, Blue will be back here. I won't bother talking to them, they basically do the same thing. Let's talk to him though. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done! 
You broke my fancy custom order chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chand chandelier cost me. Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? Of course I am. That's right. I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous suit to Egus, Skylock's Night Commander. The Night Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to Night Commander? Yep, of course. Hey, you haven't got an empty bottle. <laughs> oh, normally by this point I have an empty bottle. Um, why? Oh, glittering spores. I forgot I picked that up. Okay. Um. Technically, I do not need glittering spores. They're optional. Well, all potions are optional. They're not useful in the slightest for me. Oh. Hey, don't just sit there. Haven't you got something to do right about now? I forgot. If you sit next to a character, that happens. Sparkly. Wait. Oh. Huh? Can't I unselect it? Oh, I can't unselect it. Okay. But I just need to use this a couple more times. No. Use and use. That should empty it up. Sparkly. <laughs> Alright, um, yep, yeah, empty bottle. Alright then, here's the hot pumpkin soup. Deliver that to Night Commander. You got some hot pumpkin. <laughs> I can see with his voice. You got some hot pumpkin soup. This homemade soup is Poom's speciality. But watch out, it'll get cold in five minutes. Listen up, kid. Night Commander hates cold soup. So you're going to take this hot soup over to him. I'd say you've got to deliver it in less than five minutes, or the soup will get cold. Okay, so we've got five minutes. There's no on-screen timer, but it is there. It will cool down if you're not fast enough. Um, this is what I'm going to be doing for the majority of the sky travel. I am just going to speed it up. I am simply going to uh, sky lock. I will um, slow down the video to normal speed again once I get there. But for now, I shall see you then. Okay, I am now over Skyloft, and as you can see, the night, um, well, the training area is over here. Now you want to land around about here. It does um, have a specific landing spot though, so don't worry about it too much. Um, and, come on. I did not just press B. You can, you don't even have to press B, and Link automatically uses the sail cloth. But go into the spraving hall and you deliver the soup. Hey Ling, have you been working hard on your swordsmanship? Hmm, I smell something. I know that earthy aroma. Isn't that my favourite pumpkin soup? I asked the owner of the lumpy pumpkin to bring me some, but you went out of your way to deliver some to me? That's right. Yes, give it to me! Here you go. <laughs> He really just love that soup. So good. Mmm, this is the stuff. Pumpkin soup is best piping hot. Well done. Say thanks to the owner for me. Okay, that is the beginning of a certain side quest. Now, I always do that now. The rest of it you cannot do just yet. So, for now, you don't need to return to the monkey pump pumpkin. Um, I suppose now, really, uh, there's the only thing left to do is go to Skyloft. Well, not Skyloft, right? that's where I am now. <laughs> I mean, uh, Skyview Temple. So, um, I shall. Well, yeah. I was, I'm. Uh, nah. I was gonna speed up the video again, but no point, really. I mean, it's only. Uh, oh, by the way, these uh, re reappear every time you enter Skyloft, I think. Not certain on that. It, the green thing's over there. Uh, only over there. Oh! Wow. Can I recenter? There we go. Uh, <laughs> I was going to take the uh, curse off the Lumpy Pumpkin, but I forgot. Sky Skyloft is its own separate map. <laughs> okay. So, now you're up in the sky. You can remove the beacon. I don't really... Well... I'll leave the beacon there, actually. And where's the green column of light? There we go. I'll leave the... Uh, the... Uh, What's it called? Blue Beacon there, because I... Mm, the Lumpy Pumpkin's a place I always end up revisiting, so... Yeah, I'll just leave it there for now. 
But, um, yeah, as we saw earlier, I got two pieces of heart, and there is one piece of heart in Skyview Temple. So, you can uh, create, you can complete a whole heart container before you've even finished the first dungeon. Punch your preferred descent area with a cursor and confirm your destination by pressing A. Okay, so, Forest Temple. Although it is called Skyview Temple, the, on the map it's just Forest Temple for some reason. I wonder if that was why it's gonna, it was going to be called and they just didn't change it on the map or something. But it is called Skyview Temple. Anyway, now we need a we need our slingshot. Hit that, and Skyview Temple is open to us. I love entering dungeons in this game. It makes it seem so epic. I just love it. Okay, so this is the first dungeon, so not too hard, but it's a good dungeon. I do like this dungeon. Skyview Temple. Well, it's not a dungeon site, it's a temple. Ha! <laughs> uh, what am I on about? There's no distinct three dungeons or three temples in this. Although it does go in threes, it's not so... It's not so much that it's obvious, like in Ocarina of Time, for instance. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate, reverberate throughout this temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where we should go next. Basically, you can't douse. There's a save point. There's no point saving in dungeons unless you want to turn off. Frankly. Well, I suppose there is. I suppose you were. Uh, if you die, you reappear. Can I get. Oh. Oh, come on. See this web down here? It's just gonna trap me. I was trying to cut it, but I couldn't. <laughs> but the one use of saving in this game that I did actually forget about in this. Uh, in dungeons and temples is that. Well, peace. Um, if you die, you reappear at them. There's the only use, though. It's not. Whoa. Come on. Thank you. Oh, peace. I, I'm getting trapped in this cobweb way too much. Uh, it's not really too important. As long as you don't die, you're fine, really. There's orange on these again, which means that you'll get a rupee for hitting it. And... There we go. Uh, I'm just going to cut these... No, I didn't mean that. There we go. Cut these down. As you see, though, there's a Deku Babble up there. If you do not... Miss. <laughs> uh, there we go. If you do not hit it with a slingshot, it will it will just hurt you as soon as you try and get up. You can alternatively hit this switch using the slingshot as well, and just open that without even going up. But I prefer to kill the Deku Baba just by the off chance it gives us a jelly blob, uh, one of the treasures. So, um, as I, as, well, as I'm, I think I've mentioned this in the past, but I'm not certain, there are certain treasures that you can find in uh, dungeons and temples. Oh, what does this say? He who descended from the sky, lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. So listen to Fi. Okay. I do not need to, actually. I see Fi's there, about to talk, but basically just spin in a circle, the eye gets confused and dies. <laughs> I do like them enemies, they're fun to kill, and find out how to kill, because um, they, later on they're a bit more challenging than that, so it's fun, definitely fun. More mines, whoa, get off of me, and um, there's a Deku Baba, try and bother killing it, eh, whatever, oh wait, no, and get out there before the mines, there we go, haha, <laughs> uh, is there any point to going up there, you <laughs> Oh, ha! <laughs> okay, still shot then. Uh, one. No. There we go, two. And. Is there any more? Oh, one here. I said, I don't even know the point of going up there. Is there any point? Oh, yes, there is. Okay, what is up here then? I say, I'm. Uh, the dungeons I'm basically blind on. Because I haven't uh, checked myself all. Well, I have. I have done the mass. Oh, it's this shortcut! Okay, this basically gets you to the entrance of the temple. Um, whoa, it means to go down there. <laughs> um, 
yeah, it's just a shortcut. I have played through the dungeons while I was practicing for the LP, but I haven't, I haven't done that in a long time. So, uh, oh, fine, I'll go up here. So it's not as if I remember everything to do with the temples and such. <gasps> Buckle <Buckingham. laughs> Oh no! Oh damn it! <laughs> I was going to do a final strike on it. Um, save point there. I, I don't think I finished what I was saying earlier. You can get certain treasures in this game, I mean in this uh, temple, and one of which is the Amber Relic. Now, we haven't encountered them before, however, they're not, um, that's, I think that's the only treasure you can really get, just randomly found out in temples, and you find an excess of them in the entire game, so, there's, as much as I hate to say it, there's not really any point to looking out for them in the temple. But it's, it's still useful. Still useful. Um, for now though, you want to go press that switch and enter this door here. Now, there's two ways to go. That is that way. I decided to go this way first because there's a blue rupee you can get. And um, can I... There we go. Final strike. I, I'm always calling it the final strike. I don't actually know what it's called. It tells me, but I just forget to look. Anyway, this spider, you can't really do much to when it's on the web like that. However, you can go all the way over here. Can I... There we go. And... There we go. Oh, no, 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 I'm off, off target. And... There we go. Get all the way across. And... Oh! Quadro Baba! We have already faced these. These are not new enemies. But they're interesting enemies, I do like them, and long way. There we go, and there we go, all done. Hats, didn't really need it, but never mind. These spiders, that's what you need to do. When they're like this, they're harmless, almost. Whoa! Oh, soon as I say that, make sure you do a stab on them, don't do any other type of attack, or you'll get hurt. Ugh, honestly. And can I please cut that, because I just want to make sure I can run through it safely. Okay. Once you're here, though, switch to press. Well, hit, sorry. <laughs> that releases a load of water in there. Down there, though, before you hit the water, well, switch to release water, there could be an amber relic, I believe. I'm not absolutely certain, but it m there might be one down there somewhere, so just have a look if you do want to get the treasure. Oh, there's another one of these. Should probably say what it says. Gaze upon your map until your eye finds the X, for it is there that you must strike your glittering gemstone to reveal a path. You shall find a temple map in the room with two such gemstones. Interesting, okay? Here's the map, by the way. Not so interesting just yet, because we haven't really done much, but it does, it's useful nonetheless. The, there is no compass in this game. The com well, it, there's no on-screen map following you around all the time, and to be honest, that's the only use of the compass I could ever find. It was probably one of the most useless items. There's a treasure chest up here, and I believe this is the dungeon map. Yep, dungeon map. And, as soon as I said, showed the dungeon map a minute ago, you can finally see the full dungeon. Quite easy uh, dungeon, well, short one, I should say. If there was a location of treasure chests, be sure to take a look. Master, I have information for you. You have attained a map of this area. You can view it right for some plus. The position of doors and their locks, as well as the position and statues of, of status of treasure chests, can be confirmed on the map with maps such as X. However, be aware that you will be unable to use beacons here due to the indoor nature of this environment. To be fair, that's obvious. You cannot use a beacon because it's inside. <laughs> it's quite obvious. Anyway, as you see, that's the symbol for a chest you've already opened, that's the symbol for a chest you haven't already opened, that's the symbol for a bird statue where you can save, and um, that's a locked door. That's a normal door, and that's a tower gets the X. And, of course, we're going to Zelda, all the way over there. Zelda's over. Is there anything else, really? No, nah, nothing of notes there. So, now we've done that, we can go into the other door. So I'm just going to be doing this, and then probably ending the episode, because it's a 20 minute video already. By the time I do this room, it's going to be um, a bit longer. So I'm just going to go through here and then finish off, really. Um, it's, we've got a couple of things in this episode already. Two heart pieces, and um, dungeon map was start in the first dungeon, that's something. <laughs> um, yeah, one thing I've got to mention, this LP... Whoa! Ow! Spider! This LP is going to be long. 
For the spider, you want to hit it sideways and then stab it. There we go. Really simple. Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, one is below. That's hinting about the room previous to this one. Uh, you can use your sail cloth for just random jumps like that, I've never needed to, and quite frankly even there I didn't need to, but never mind. And there's these spiders. Four of them and three of them were in the same corner. But, monster claws. I believe this is the first monster claw we have got. Them spiders dropped them, I did not actually know them spiders dropped them, but, um, yeah. Monster claws. Uh, we need 17 of them in the game, I believe. And that's all, oh, really. Not many, considering most enemies in the game do drop them, but yeah. Here is the second switch, so just hit that. And, um, yeah, more water! Yay! Water! Uh, <laughs> uh, this. This game has a lot of water in it, I must admit. Although, it's it's alright, because it's not all at once. There's a mysterious little uh, digging spot there, but we cannot do it, use it just yet. So, just fall down like that, and... Now then, how do I get over there? Is there another way into this room? Yes, there is, okay. As I said, I'm just going to finish this room, which includes getting down there. Um, hopefully, now that the water's fully raised, I can get across properly. Can I...? Uh, is this it? Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, just a mini spider here to kill. And that shouldn't really release anything. Uh, oh, it released a rupee. Ha! <laughs> you can tell by the sound it makes. Um, anything? No. As you see, the staircases are broken in here, so, um, yeah, you need to sort of weave your way around. So, there's another spider in here. <laughs> I do like the spiders, but I, at first when I didn't know how to kill them, they were such a pain, because they would always hurt me like that, and I'd have no idea how to kill them. Oh, there you go, heart. And, now there's two of these. You need to stand far enough back, so you've got both of them, and in the very centre, and just, oh, spin the uh, sword. And there's two eyes which are dead. What about the rest of the body, though? <laughs> No, uh, there's eyes and no body. It's slightly weird. <laughs> but, there's a small key. We do need to get this. Um, of course, small keys are necessary to Legend of Zelda games and um, progressing through normally dungeons. But I believe there could be some in the overworld. I know there's certainly one in, the le in a later area. I was about to say what the later area is called, but I won't do that. Um, so, yeah. Now we can move on. However, that's going to be it for this episode. So, in the next episode, I shall be making my way through here. So, I bid you all farewell. Bye.